Hey guys, what's going on? I touch stuff here, spelt with a zero, Kieran from Sync Tech, whatever you like to call me. And today I'm just going to be going over what was released in the iOS 4.2 GM version, which is basically the last version that should come out before the initial release of uh, iOS 4.2 for the iPad. Now, if you don't know what iOS 4.2 is, it's basically iOS 4 for iPad users. iPad firmware is usually get updated generally later on in the game. Um, it just works that way. That's the way Apple does it. Hopefully in the future, they'll release it at the same time. iPod and iPhone firmwares are released. But in this version, you'll be able to get multitasking and all that great stuff that you'll have and might already have if you own an iPod Touch or an iPhone. Now, iOS 4.2, the GM was just released yesterday, November 1st. I know I'm making this video a day late, but I'm sorry I couldn't get to it that quick. But basically, I'm just going to be covering how you can get this GM if you want to develop for it, or you just want to mess around with it um, on your iPad. So, you will need an Apple developer account. Now, I'm going to discuss the differences between an Apple developer and just a regular account at apple.developer.apple.com. Uh, so, a regular account at developer.apple.com, you can just make by going to the website, developer.apple.com, and then at the top, It'll say register, you can click there, register for your free account, activate it through your email, and you're ready to go. Now what that gets you is the whole developer kit for um, Mac OS and iPod um, iOS, so you can make your own stuff. It comes with Xcode, Interface Builder, Instruments, iPhone Simulator, Dash Code, Quartz Composer, basically how to make your, basically tools that allow you to make your own apps for iOS and Mac. Now those come all free, and that's great, but the problem is that you will need a developer account, which you need to pay $99 per year per type of account. There's two types of accounts. One is an iOS account, and one is a Mac account. Now if I click here, iOS Dev Center, you'll see I can go here, I'm logged in with my account, and I can go ahead and download Xcode and whatever, but if I go back here, and I click on this button right here and click Submit Your iOS 4.2 Apps, you'll see that I am not allowed to access this page because I'm not a full developer, which means I don't pay $99 a year. Now again, there's two separate accounts. There's an iOS developer program and a Mac developer program. Each is $99 a year. So if you want to develop for iOS, you pay $99 a year. If you want to develop for Mac, you pay $99 a year. If you want to develop for both, you pay $200 a year. Now for me, I just don't find it worth it because I don't develop apps, but it's fun definitely to mess around in Xcode, but if you build your own app in Xcode and Interface Builder and you run it through the iPhone simulator, the only way you can get it to the App Store is through iOS Developer Program. So that's the big flaw right there. You're allowed to create your apps for free, you mess around with them in the simulator, but if you want to see them in the App Store, you have to have a $99 per year account. So now that I've got that all straightened out, um, I'm not a developer. You may be. If you want to go download this, basically just click on that same thing right here, developer.apple.com, backslash devcenter, backslash iOS, and then um, you can go ahead and download the 4.2 GM. This is the Gold Master version. Again, it'll get you multitasking on your iPad, but um, if you're not a developer and you're looking to be one just for the GM, I suggest you don't do it because most likely this is going to be a free update and it should be released within... Um, the next couple of weeks or days, um, or however, lo uh, however long it may take, it's going to be out pretty soon. So I wouldn't go ahead and waste $100 unless you're looking to develop for Apple. So another thing is that this multitasking in the 4.2 GM, what Apple threw in at like the last moment, is this um, sort of slide toggle for brightness and sound. Now, this you can currently get in Cydia as a tweak, which is pretty nice for your iPhone or iPad, not iPad, excuse me, iPod Touch. Another thing that came to my attention is this button right here. Now, you may be asking what this is. This is actually Air Display, and if you don't know what Air Display is, Air Display allows you to, not Air Display, sorry, Air Play. <laughs> um, Air Play allows you to stream music wirelessly along many devices, so you just tap on this button, I assume, and it will activate Air Display, Air Play, can't say that word, and you'll be able to stream your music wirelessly, wirelessly to your computer, um, your TV, and whatever other wireless enabled device. So guys, it's been iTouch Stuff here, keeping you informed with the latest in the tech world. Please subscribe for more videos on iPod Touch mods and hacks, and uh, tech videos, unboxings, stuff like that. Stay tuned, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.